Okay. Oh, it's there. It's washing. When I cut it off. <laughs> hey, hey, my name is Don't Like the Lion King. Oh, hey, hey, my name is Don't Like the Lion King, and this is my channel, Dee Dee Nala Dun Dun Nala. Last week? No, not even last week. Three, four days ago. Oh, look at these eyes. They look sexy. I worked on this piece here, but I posted. I don't know. Wait, what am I posting? Either way, I worked on this piece here move some things around if you're new here don't forget to comment like subscribe um this is a creative health mental safe space that's a, that's a long it's a long phrase there but yeah so i create work um for my emotions and we kind of vent to each other on here it's a community you guys give me tips and tricks i give you guys tips and tricks it's a mutual thing okay um and if you are old timers thank y'all y'all are my rock i appreciate y'all um, so today I'm going to be inviting a guest. Her name is Sid. She is an amazing abstract artist. Um, I've known her since my undergrad year in college and she's been flourishing ever since. Um, give it up for Sydney. Hello everyone. I am here with Sydney. Um, she's an amazing artist. I know her since undergrad. Like she's one of the first people I met, to be honest. One of my closest artist friends. Um, and we're just gonna hear a little bit about her, ask some questions. What do you do? You know, what's going on and things like that. Um, I am a first year graduate student. Just finished wow. my first year, praise the Lord. Um, I am also teaching at a company, Wine and Design. I'm one of the artists there. And I also teach at the sister company, Paint Fun Ceramics. I've been doing art for a long time. Um, nice. As Nala said, we went to undergrad together at good old Bridgewater College. I come from a big family of athletes and uh, artists, not just like with painting, but also like with dancing and singing and acting and all that kind of thing. So yeah, just been in my, I think it's just been in me. Yes. Yeah, Sid is an amazing singer, by the way, too. I don't want to out her, but she's multi-talented, <laughs> like for real, for real. I'm serious, I'm serious. Um, I'm gonna just start right up. So first things first, what made you get into painting and creating art in general? Um, okay, so I started when I like ser like seriously starting. I started in middle school just to get like it was like my outlet in the beginning. Um, from sports, because that just holds a lot of pressure in itself. Once I got to high school and college, it just became something that I got became really passionate about. And I would love the impact that some artists that I would see, like in Richmond area, the way they impact the neighborhoods and things like that. Like I wanted my art to do the same. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because we grew up in the same area, which is really convenient. And Richmond's like a super art hub. Like, yes. I don't know if you guys know, but Richmond is like art, art here, festival here and there. Right, well, um, I know you said, uh, you know, you've been doing it for a long time. Uh, just kind of get into this next question here. What is like the purpose goal of your work in general? Okay, so my goal, since my artwork is predominantly non-representational abstract painting, my goal is to impact people, like as they view it, just to change like their demeanor or impact them, like their emotions or like something that's triggering just to see like, oh, this is what this art is making me feel like type of deal. And also to be able to have that space where people can freely express yeah. their opinions and things on an art that they don't know what it looks like. Instead of like looking at something and knowing what it is, having that art that like, oh, I can just interpret this for myself. Yeah. And then I can also like as an artist tell them how I see it. I'm like, oh, that's interesting the way you see it, even yeah. though it's a different opinion. So I think that's like the main thing that I want to do as an artist, just to get that, like my art out there first and then have that impact. And right now I'm working on trying to put some mixed media in there, trying to get some more material so that my abstract paintings are more three-dimensional coming from mm -hmm. the canvas yeah. so that it can be more dramatic, like almost like something's reaching out to the person that's viewing it. I always talk about like how like, I'm not a fan of abstract art, but I've what? always loved your abstract art. Cause it's like, it's like the whole thing where it forces you to interpret it. Like I remember just like doing undergrad and we had our senior thesis, like the stuff he was pushing out that still had a meaning, but it was still abstract. Cause it's just like, it's, it's, it's nothing that you can just like, no, this is what it is. You no, know, it's not like realism. Like, you know, like you have to see exactly what it is, but you have to force to use your mind and it does connect you. So that, yeah. Well, I just feel like it's good just to challenge, just to challenge the viewer because it is always like, oh, you go to art show, you see this, this is what it is. Or this Right. Thing, oh, global warming, mm -hmm. pollution. But it's like if you painting something and you let them go in and you they actually have to like you said use their brains to think like oh, yeah, how's this making me feel? <laughs> because, All right. So the next question is um, just some tips. Like, what do you think could really help artists the most right now? I think that 
one big one is just networking you know people know people you, you know people people know people just that basic networking to find out like who knows big businesses like have spaces that have spaces that you can have like shows in promoting wise things like that like i know you you know how to make flyers i can get that out like things like that just networking is like one big one just to get your artwork out there and seeing because it is hard when you're in the beginning trying a good support system yes. you need you need people with you that's with you Yes. <laughs> so we need a good support system just to have your back and just, you know, be there, even if they're not like art affiliated, just to be there, be like, listen, like maybe this isn't working or maybe you need to take a break, step back, like people that can help you on the outside and the inside of your work. So some artists and then some non artists, you need both sides of that situation. Right. You need to be authentic, keep mm -hmm. it original. Yes. That's one thing you got to be. It's a lot of, I mean, obviously, art has been copied like over the years that's the thing but keeping it as original as you know how will be the best benefit just to it'll attract more because it'll be something new like this is a, this is something that no one's ever seen before so it's like okay right. bringing this in some new flavors some new tastes trying to be a social butterfly even though if you're not a social butterfly any any place you know if you see like you know with work since i work like as an artist it's easy, it's easy for me to be like yeah by the way because website i create my own work or outside of this right you know, i can share this with you boom boom and just try to promote others as well. Like I always promote you because I'm not good with the faces. You feel me? I'm not good with the people. I'm like, hey, my friend Nalo. Here's, <laughs> Vice her, <first> scene. <laughs> here's her stuff. You know, like I always try to promote outside, you know, do that kind of stuff because I know like I'm not we're not out here trying to be the starving artist statistic. We trying to make this a living. Doing yeah. Something what we want to do. And when you build that community with people, it's so easy to get around and create things together that can help spread. I want to do this month because of that specifically, because I feel like mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get some followers. I'm like, let me just go ahead and bring my friends with me. Because I'm like, <laughs> Listen. like for real. And like, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you really do need that support system. You got to help each other. It feels really good. It's kind of like having that chosen community in a sense. Right, yes, especially because I don't like to do the speaking. Like this right here is already, <laughs> but it's okay. Because I'm here right. to support you. <laughs> right. I blame our um like our art jobs. We both do little teaching and stuff. That's been I know. But it's yeah, that's, it's that's pressure. I'd be like, yeah, it's pressure. <laughs> Two hours, I can do it. It's funny because I go up there, I'm like set up the things. I'm up there on the stage, and I'm just like <sighs> All right, guys, like I'm always like out of breath. Right. I'm like, so I'm like, this is how you do this. Just me? <laughs> fumes coming off of me it's, it's yeah, very stressful literally. like what do you think divine like divines defines being like a successful artist in general i think if you meet your goal like doesn't matter how big or small mm -hmm. you meet your goals and you're loving what you're doing mm -hmm. and you are still growing as an artist every time you create something new mm -hmm. and then you know as a bonus you're selling art on top of that i think that's mm -hmm. success like i don't think that artists should try to conform to what people want them to paint yes. just so that it sells like I think if you're being um authentic and keeping that like true to yourself I feel like that's the most success can come out of it and that will bring you to people that truly like like what you're doing someone like oh I, I like that gory I like this oh this mm -hmm. is a deep meaning like this is something that's really like gut-wrenching that I can relate to and I'm gonna put it in my house I'm gonna buy my four <laughs> copies but it's like not everybody wants to see you know every, not everybody has that preference not everybody likes that but it's like don't ever change what you're doing yeah because that's what you want to do and then yeah. what i'm doing i'm not gonna change just because oh this is what somebody else wants me to do like no right. somebody wants my work to pay what it's worth yeah never that never drop the payment pay what it's worth but you have it said as <laughs> drop it right here <laughs> send it to them <laughs> send, send me send it to you like literally just doing that and that's what success is i don't think making yourself smaller trying to change what you're doing trying to give it a different meaning like if you're just sticking to what you had your little goal yeah. list i think that's like the most successful you can be that that's heavy i mean like i struggle with that still too as well like right. as a new artist you're trying to get stuff that kind of is popular or you know gets that yeah. eye and i'm like you lose yourself along the way you know and I was definitely feeling that for a long time because I used to like sign up for galleries or shows and it literally was kind of like, ma'am, your art is too dark. You can't do that. And I'm just yeah. like, dang. So every time I do a painting, I don't want to be too gory to where they're like, mm, kids are here. So I can't, you know what I mean? So right. it's, it's hard because they force a conformity thing on you, you know? Yeah, exactly. Really I learned that 
in my first semester here, mm-hmm. in my first semester, obviously all the professors here, they work as artists outside of teaching, mm-hmm. which is what I want to do and goal, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> he was telling me that in the beginning when he was creating work, it wasn't selling. Mm-hmm. And so he was, he, he decided to change what he was doing mm-hmm. to be more like sellable. Yeah. He was like, I think that's, he, and he told me, he's like, I think that's your best benefit. Like he said, your end goal is probably to sell work. He said, so you should probably think about how people want to, what people want to see. And I was like, no. My end goal is to sell. Right. Like, that's gonna be a plus. But I want them to buy what is already created. I don't want them yeah. to, I don't want to change what I'm doing right. to conform to what they want to see. Like, I want to still create my own type of style of abstract art. Right. Sell that, not do what they've seen on Pinterest. You know, it's like right. <laughs> yeah, it's like go get it on Pinterest. Like, right. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, so. it's an evolving generation. You know, we we got to yeah. do something new because we don't want the same thing over again. You know. Exactly. Speaking of your art, are there any things you want to mention about your whole art business? Like any announcements, anything like that? How can we reach you? My Instagram is Sydney dot M O. That's my art page. Um, I have a website that is up. It's called artbymosley.org. Um, I'm planning on having a show, trying to put together something with you, actually, and then with my cousins to see if we can put some things together. Trying oh, to get a show, getting, get going in the fall. Nothing too crazy, though. You know, trying to get a middle area we can all meet up at because I know we're all in different places. <laughs> so, oh, and then one other event I'm going to um, July 16th. Okay. For mental health awareness. Woo! This is the this is the painting I've done for that. Um, it is based off of one of my friends. He's a athletic trainer, and then he also works in the mental field, mental health field. So I think that's going to be really good. I mean, the okay. cause is really good, and then I'll be selling. I think I might paint another painting for him and send that off. I'll be selling my work there. There's a whole lot of things. He's very, very knowledgeable about that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, I'm gonna drop all the links on here. Please show out, support Sid. Like for real, we gotta support each other. I love it. Yes, each um, other. Yes, always. And thank you so much for coming on today. I want to have you again because we're going to be talking and thinking about some ideas. Um, before I let you go, I wanted to say I was going to attempt to do a similar style as yours. Um, please give me some tips because I feel like this is going to be a disaster, but it's all about learning, you know? Okay. Give me some tips. What are some like specific art? Because I know you got some specific ones to help me yeah, out. Okay, so this is a piece here. This is from oh 2020. This okay. is one of my couple of first abstract paintings like to get to that that point okay you yeah. can start with like a basis like some coat anything oh, comforting like a wash okay i struggle with washes i'm not gonna lie it's yeah, with that brush girl with the brush i was so scared because i'm so and messy then, like this one. Oh, i like that a wash and then i put plastic on top okay scrunched it up and then when it dries, which you have to let it dry, because that's one thing that I don't do. But you gotta <laughs> let it dry and then palette knife it. Yes. Oh, okay. okay, palette knife it. I did a little bit with the palette knife, like for this like bottom part here. It was a little something like that. It was yeah, like Yeah, see? It's pretty much like you're painting what you're feeling. Okay. You can do pretty much your same color palette if you want to. Like have that basis to be like a darkish reddish tone, mm-hmm. like give those red tones in there. Right. And then come on top with like dark purples okay and then like finish with your like your very last layer with like black like almost like it's consuming it right. in a way right. or like coming out of it in a way you know mm-hmm. type of any type of deal whatever you're feeling okay. do some drips some flicks oh, yeah. I mean, little, little drips it's okay not, yeah. it's a little flick you know how to be teaching us in class you know what I mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the little toothbrush well, just... yeah there you go <laughs> well listen not, not oh, hard God. it's really not hard it's, it's all about self-expression at the end of the day it's all about self-expression I have a, And if you go in with a plan, then yeah. you're gonna mess up. <gasps> there we go. So, I already know I'm like, if I put this here, this thing is gonna be yeah, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna relax my brain. And then like paint it, turn it around, like flip it upside down, mm-hmm. paint some more. When you yeah, turn it back, it'll be totally, totally different. Yeah, you used to always mm-hmm. turn your panties around. I'd be like, dang, got it. I'm going to try to attempt this. Don't be shy to critique the hell out of it. It's okay. But I will see you soon. Have a great day. You too. All right, you guys, so this is the next day and I'm gonna attempt this piece on this. I don't know what size this is. This is like maybe 11 by 12. I am so confused. I don't know, but this size. All right, so we got a few tips. Step one is we're going to use a wash or getting our base ready, basically. And so I remember she spoke about how I should try to like 
have some like either darker tones underneath or like have the darker tones coming in so i okay she told me that to come in with an idea and if you go in with the plan then yeah. you're gonna mess up but i can't help it i'm gonna try to make it like abstract as possible but i'm already going for a gory fleshy vibe so i'm thinking of doing brown fleshy colors with purple bruised colors and red and black so like bleh. so i'm also listening to what she said is in like maybe i should be comfortable doing more gore so that's what i'm gonna do and i might add in a little bit of tips and tricks add in a little bit a few of my like not completely abstract but i'm trying to make this into my own image because obviously there's no way i can replicate her work okay bye did the magic trick work i think it worked but i got a whole new palette here i knew where my sisters were i didn't feel like looking for them so i just basically tore everything with my teeth like that no i'm just joking all right so we're gonna go into this the first thing i'm gonna do is open this bad boy up they gotta open it up Okay, so the colors I'm gonna get for this base is I'm gonna go for primary red and I'm gonna go for a black and then a brown. Maybe some purple, um, just cause. So I'm gonna see what I can do with these colors. Like I told you guys, I have a hard time with washes. So let's I'll bring you in a little bit closer. I don't know what brush to use for a wash but i feel like i should go like big scale like with this brush but it's so hard and brittle it may like take that right back up so yeah i don't know so i'm gonna go i don't i really don't know how i approach this she said make sure it's wet so i guess we're just gonna go in and make it sure it's wet right oh this is harder than it looks okay so i'm just gonna take some purple some red Dipping my brush in complete water. And then, is this doing anything at all? She said don't be afraid to get it wet. So, <sighs> that's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's there, it's washing, right? Should I get some black in it now? I think I'm gonna get some black in it. step is transforming move so and then she also says palette knife I think I list these steps in the wrong orders but it's fine so I think we had more wash something dark is not dark enough I got I'm going to dry this again I think that's pretty good I'm gonna get into a little bit of painting but I'm gonna palette knife like right over top of it just like she said let's do that again wait I need some white that's what I needed bro So that was the second step. We're now gonna move to the third step, which is palette knife. So I'm gonna palette knife this thing very confidently, and I'm gonna leave bits and pieces, bits and pieces, bits and pieces off. I'm gonna use that red, uh, same black, mainly black, red, and a little bit of blue to really get some like coolness to it. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this is this is me winging it again, winging it, winging it, wagging it. Some red and. I 
I'm palating in it, y'all. I'm doing it. So I'm gonna actually use some splatters next. So I'm gonna like tip it like this. Instead of using a toothbrush, um, you just kind of put paint in your brush, make sure it's a little bit of wet, and it just kind of flick off in chunks. That. See, got a little bit of splatters. Oh yeah, that was a good one. There we go. So I got some flicked it flicks. So now I'm gonna do some finishing touches, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, y'all. So I finished. It's 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 definitely not Sid's. It's, it's definitely not what she did. Um, it's my twist on it. It's a really big twist. <laughs> okay, so look. Here's the deal, right? I'm looking at this piece, and it's not giving the assignment it was supposed to give. So I'm gonna add some more paint on it with a palette knife because obviously the assignment wasn't for it to be realistic like this. There's some paint that I can't get off of this, so we're just gonna have to use parts of my thingy. I need to put something like along here, maybe not even be afraid to cut through the hands. Red, uh, blue, make some an idiot, right? Take some black, and I'm just gonna... More red, more red, more red. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, okay? Now I'm gonna add a little lines, a little bit extra more random marks. I'm not thinking about this anymore. I got out of my head and just kind of went with whatever mark I, I wanna go to. This is what we have. I think I did it, y'all. I think I did it. Um, this was a challenge for me because earlier as you guys saw I did all the steps but I still came back to realism so I really wanted to refresh that and really push this abstract so I went backwards and added more things because you guys know I'm not afraid to start over a painting um, but this was a really good exercise I learned a lot I'm not gonna lie um, Sid please send in your review and if you guys want to see the review tune in for next video we're gonna be doing more of these videos of tutorial and artist chats and things like that any questions that really can help you as an artist or anything specific please don't be afraid to comment below or dm me here on my instagram here Boop. i do a lot of stuff on my instagram page so don't forget to look on there follow as usual but i love you guys don't forget to comment like subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you guys very soon. I think it was a success. It was hard at first, but then I really clicked in, went to abstract. Um, see you guys soon. Uh, don't forget, step out of your comfort zone this month, this week, this weekend, today. Try to step out of your comfort zone because you never know what you're gonna make. I mean, this honestly is mad cool. I kind of like it a lot. I might use some more of this type of slasher type feeling. Um, but I'll see you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye. and subscribe. <laughs>